Hello, my name is Denise Beverly and I'm an artist and surface pattern designer on Spoonflower. This holiday season I have a new collection of cut and sew stockings to share with you. These are an easy fat quarter project that you can put together in no time. For my sample stockings I use Celosia Velvet for the gold and white stocking and the new Performance Velvet for the red and white stocking. As you can see the Celosia has a slightly warmer base while the Performance Velvet is a brighter white. Having used both, I prefer the Performance Velvet. I believe it cuts better, sews more easily, especially on the curves, and is slightly thicker than the Celosia. Both have a smooth feel when you rub with the grain and a slight roughness when rubbed against the grain. Either one works well as the body of the stocking and no lining will be needed for these to feel finished and strong. The first step is to cut out the stocking body. Pin or clip right sides together and stitch from one top edge around the body to the other top edge. Be sure that you leave the top of the white cuff open. You will then turn down approximately one half inch of the white cuff and stitch to secure. Now turn the stocking right sides out. Smooth out all your seams and flatten by hand. Using the additional matching fabric I provided, you can now make your hang tab. Cut out the rectangle and fold the long sides to the middle. Stitch these down in your preferred method. Loop over to match up the cut ends. Decide how long you want your loop to be and cut it accordingly, being sure that you leave enough length to hang the stocking. Attach this securely to the side seam of your stocking that re represents the back if you were trying to wear it as a sock. For mine, I added a vintage button accent by hand sewing it on after the loop was secure. I also tested the stocking by filling it with three pounds of candy and it held up beautifully. Now comes the fun part, embellishing your stocking. Since the cuff is attached, you may want to add ribbon, upholstery gimp, or braid to define the edge. For a fun, more dimensional look, add faux fur. You can add a name to the cuff with paint, markers, embroidery, or cross stitch for a personalized stocking. The finishing touches are really up to you. Make it your own personal style. I will preview some of the 100 stocking designs in the collection while I tell you some important things to consider. You have to use the 54 to 56 inch wide fabrics for this to be complete. Velvet or fleece would be my first choice, but if you are familiar with the other fabrics, you may want to use something different. Don't use minky or jersey or any of the stretchy knits. I don't think they'll hold up their shape. These will print beautifully on satin if you want a decorative stocking. However, they may not be structurally sound enough to fill with heavy items unless you add a lining to be the actual support. If you choose to line your stocking, simply use the unsewn stocking sides as a template to cut your liner fabric. All computer monitors see color differently. For that matter, everybody sees color differently. Poly and blend fabrics print more vibrantly than natural fibers do. If you're unsure, please order a sample swatch on your preferred fabric base just to be sure of the actual color it will print. If you are creating for a craft fair or bazaar or want matching stockings, you can purchase a yard panel and have four complete stockings of the same design. I will try to be mindful to pass along sale information on my Facebook page or Instagram. See links in my profile. This could be especially important to you if you're a maker using these for your business. Have fun, be creative, and teach those young sewists how to make their own stockings this year. This could be a perfect project to start them on their way. Check out my Spoonflower Shop and the Cut and Sew Christmas Stocking Collection. Thank you for your time and interest. Have a wonderful day.